It's Rocky Mountain Sasquatch. Just discovered this morning the most recent Bigfoot sighting in Sardine Canyon of Utah happened yesterday. So I headed up here right away to look around. Unfortunately, it snowed an inch or two last night and this morning. So it may have filled in any tracks left behind. However, was hoping if the two Bigfoot spotted yesterday are still around, maybe I can get lucky and capture them on camera. One of the things several people stated on this lady, Alicia's witness report, is that her and her son may have seen a couple of those Bigfoot cutouts. Because I travel this particular canyon several times each month, I know for a fact there isn't a single statue or cutout in this canyon. However, today, I already drove up and down this canyon three times so far, scouting the train for the two creatures. And I can confirm there is still not a single statue or Bigfoot-shaped cutout in this canyon, let alone two. This canyon has a history of several Bigfoot sightings, along with the nearby canyons to the north, south, and east of here. As a matter of fact, north of here, the Wellsville side, Finding Bigfoot actually did an investigation there with a hunter that had a Bigfoot sighting and encounter. I'm going to glass some of the mountain ridges, tree lines, and draws while I go over the Bigfoot sighting report that happened yesterday here. Alicia writes in Cache Valley Bigfoot Group, I really think I saw just two huge Bigfoots in Sardine Canyon. I was driving home to Bear Lake from Ogden with my 15-year-old son. I wasn't looking for Bigfoot in Sardine Canyon. I usually keep an eye out in Logan Canyon, but I just expect to see speed traps in Sardine Canyon. If you guys don't know what a speed trap is, the speed changes drastically in a couple of parts. The police are really good at catching people speeding, so they call it the Sardine Canyon speed trap. Okay, here's more of her report. We came up the first hill and came around the corner. There's a spot with a big white patch. I'm not sure if it's light-colored rocks or if it was snow, but it was like a pit of bright white surrounded by the hill mountainside. There were trees surrounding this patch of white, but no trees in that area. The snow was reflecting the light well, so that area was pretty well lit. As we drove by, I saw two huge shapes that looked black against the patch of white. They were probably close to 10 feet tall and had extremely broad shoulders. They looked like they had no neck. I think they were facing away from the freeway and looking down. I didn't believe my eyes at first as we passed it. I asked my son if those were Bigfoots. He was startled and said he was about to ask me the same thing. There wasn't really anywhere to pull over without the risk of being in an accident, because I had a bunch of cars behind me. There wasn't really anywhere to turn around until we got out of the canyon, and we were exhausted because it was late. I'm going back down tomorrow, and I'm going to look and see if I can find an explanation in the daylight. Maybe they were statues. They definitely weren't trees or elk. I drew a quick sketch of what I saw when I got home, and my son drew what he saw, and then we compared them. Here's mine. Here's his. We definitely saw the same thing, whatever it was. Okay, she provided a Google map with the pin of the location where they saw these two Bigfoot. I recognized the spot right away. A couple of years ago, Jenny and I saw a big black wolf running toward the highway, and it went down into a wash and disappeared. It's a very dangerous road to pull over on, but Jenny and I pulled over anyway. Pulled way off the road, but this was summertime. You don't want to be pulling over in the wintertime when there's embankments of snow like there is right now. But we pulled off waiting for the wolf to emerge, and we never saw it again. We know the area well. We also know there's a lot of Bigfoot sightings up and down this canyon. As a matter of fact, about a mile further up from here, there's a patch that gets farmed. Alfalfa, usually. A friend of the family saw a Bigfoot standing out by the tractor. It was a good foot taller than the tractor, making the Bigfoot about nine feet tall. Okay, and then a couple of years ago, in the direction of Monte Cristo, up by Sourdough, Matthew Anderson come face to face with two Bigfoot there. We came and investigated and found hundreds if not thousands of Bigfoot tracks. He came face to face with two Bigfoot and he described them in the same color as what this lady and her son saw. Maybe it's the two resident Bigfoot that Matthew saw a couple of years ago and now they're seeing them again. It appears that they were actually heading in the direction of Monte Cristo. Um, the way she describes it, it sounds like they were headed in like an easterly direction. But that's all we have. 
latest Bigfoot sighting reports. Kind of exciting. I hope you guys enjoyed. Keep on watching. We're going to keep on squatching. <laughs>